Hi friend, in this video, I am tell about how to set up PC in Wireshark in network. The first thing remember, make you sure the Wireshark is be installed and loaded on the system. The second thing, make you sure your PC or laptop or your desktop is connected to network and the correct segment. The third one is make you sure the network can send you traffic if your pc or laptop will be installed in your network if your network cannot send you with traffic your wireshark software will be not capture the network traffic the fourth thing make you sure your laptop or pc is installed on the endpoint it is not installed on the small segment or small another segment if it is in right segment or endpoint it is capture whole much traffic on total network in here here is the one service provider and two devices are connected if our laptop is connected direct to the PC segment it is not capturing the all traffic it is only capture the it is only capture the traffic which are goes from the PC and it is sent from the PC if our system is connected to the switch or hub the system capture the whole traffic here is a two method for capturing the traffic in network the first one is a port mirroring and second one the placing is hub the port mirroring is the basically working on the switches which on the Cisco switches or another Wavi switches the first thing if you traffic are come from one port and it is sent back to the router you can use the port mirror because in switches there is no broadcast the port mirror is basically if one PC send you the traffic to the switch and the traffic will be copied or switch can copy this traffic to another port for capturing or other analysis if the spanning port or port mirroring are present in the switches the second thing is the placing the hub in your segment if you are, you are placed the hub in your network the traffic uh, will be broadcast in your system in here the port mirror Cisco switch and monitoring and spanning session here is the basic configuration of a port mirroring of the Cisco switches. The first one is the uh, configuring uh, switches no monitor session all. It is the cleaning all old sessions which are established on the switches for port uh, mirroring or spanning the sessions. The second line is the defining the source and third line defining the destination of fast ethernet which is present on the switches the last thing selecting the correct NIC in here if the multiple NIC card are present in the, on your desktop system or your laptop system choosing the correct NIC for capturing your data if you are make on your you are on local system make you sure your system is the mobile or portability if your system is the portable you can place your system into any segment of your network the second thing is the make you sure your system is connected to correct port which is the switch if your system is not connected to mirror board or another board the network cannot you send you traffic another thing is the make you sure your switches port is configured correctly the multiple NIC can help to defining different types of uh, capturing data filters or applying no filters to your network for capturing different types of data in here if you have the multiple spanning sessions present on your switches you can choose the correct one which have the right traffic for capturing the network traffic here there is a two spanning sessions are present and two NIC are present one NIC capture the 
desktop PCs, traffic, and another NIC can capture the mobility devices and portable devices traffic. It is the help to and it is provide the better analysis of the network on your network. So this is all about my video. So please subscribe my channel. Thanks guys.